Hello, nice that you are back again. This is the last lesson to construct a cool scene. What we are still missing is the road traffic. So let's get started. First we need to prepare some cars. I use only low poly objects for this, so that we don't load the computer too much. First I separate the wheels and animate the rotation. For the rear wheel axle we just copy the front part and save some time. For the car lights we don't use real lights, that would add too much render time. I am a lazy man and use a simple method. I create a sphere and position it in the intended place. Then I create a texture with a glow effect. After everything is in place, the first vehicle is ready. After I have created some vehicles, we can create two lanes. I like this way of creating road traffic, because we do not have to work in the main scene and can keep a better overview. After all the cars are aligned we can position them so that they all go in the same direction. Then I select a few of the cars and let them drive in the opposite direction. To save time, I use some cars twice. This is not really noticeable in the scenes. Now it's time to import our cars into the main scene. To generate a little more traffic, we copied the cars and paste them in the other street. After a few adjustments, the whole thing looks pretty damn good. The construction of the scene is now complete. As I have said a few times, it is important to have order in the scene. I have separated all the elements and well labeled. So I always have a good overview and less worries in the lighting design of the scene. So enough for today. Peace.